check your connection i think uh, all of you are able to hear me yes sir it's clear yes sir his voice yes, is clear yes sir yes sir yes sir so there's a problem with your side huh? please take care there's a dog huh? so initially the dog is at rest okay now let's carry on the thing so this is the trolley a they are at rest no the total system is there. Now, now the dog is going to make a jump. <coughs> so what should happen to trolley B? Will recoil back? Sir, lagging, sir. Uh, 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 sir, no problem with the voice, sir. Please, please check your voice. Pa. Like I'm telling this one from my side, there won't be problem. Your connection is the problem. Please do understand. I can't do anything if your network is the problem, please. Anyway, I'm putting recording now. Afterwards, you can take care in the recording. Huh? Okay, this dog is going to... it is going to make a jump so what is the velocity of the take like this so this will acquire a velocity say vb1 put symbol the velocity of dog let it be vd1 it will jump with the velocity you are and this is still at rest <coughs> so what is the mass of the dog four and that of the trolley is 20 kg so directly can you write uh, vb1 now what is the basic formula again plus you are equal to vd1 plus minus of minus vb1 you are so better simplify it huh? don't don't uh, substitute symbols vd1 plus vb1 so let's apply conservation of linear momentum so conservation of linear momentum well mass of the dog is 4 4 velocity vd1 velocity of dog 4 d1 0 equal to 4 d1 minus mass of the trolley 20 vb1 Uh, we have to calculate also vd1 vd1 what we can write it as <coughs> minus of minus no you are is positive so this will be 6 minus vb1 minus 20 vb1 straight away uh, what was the and this will be 24 <coughs> anybody value vb1 one one, one meter one meter huh? velocity of the trolley huh? Uh, one meter per second no we'll calculate the velocity of the dog no because that is needed no substituting this here six five. equal to vd1 plus one so vd1 equal to five meter per second no this dog weapon is going to land like earlier we did previous problem 
this is going to land I'll take this situation here place it on the trolley finish or yeah what should happen to know the dog come the trolley together they'll move with a one velocity so let this is a no trolley a call va1 how to calculate this va1 again apply conservation of linear momentum now let's write the equations uh, initial momentum of the dog 5 kg mass of the dog is 5 5 vd1 for this i'm writing equations here initial momentum equal to final momentum initial momentum velocity of the mass of the dog is 4 4 into 5 is equal to finally 4 plus 20 into va1 20 by 24 phi by 6 meter per second keep this much this one so no what will happen to dog after this what happened the dog again what happened will jump back <coughs> to the trolley b So when it jumps like this again, it will jump with a speed u r six meter. So what should happen to velocity of this trolley will increase. I'll, I'll scroll down. So the next situation, the dog will jump back here. actually as a teacher i should not discuss but uh, the, uh, like a student are supposed to work out such numericals no so or or all idea will come for you oh, we can't draw it huh? dog or a cat i don't know yeah. now he he will jump with the velocity u r velocity of the dog let it be v v d2 and the trolley will recoil with a speed v a2 this mass of this how much 20 kg that of the dog is 4 kg right condition of linear momentum uh, before that i think we should calculate this vd2 no it is required for us and u r is same 6 meter so how the basic formula should be minus u r again we'll stick on to the basic thing towards right positive minus u r is equal to minus vd2 minus of plus v a2 U R is how much? Minus six. We don't know this. So V D two should be equal to six minus V A two. Now you apply condition of linear momentum from this diagram to this diagram between these two. Dog plus trolley were were moving towards right. <coughs> Now the trolley weapon will turn back and jump. Uh, it is understood like this. So now applying condition of linear momentum, initial momentum. Equal to final momentum. Initial momentum. Dog. What is the mass of dog? Four kg. Four kg plus that of the trolley. Twenty. R moving towards right. This will become initial. No. Is equal to finally twenty v a two minus four v d two. That v d two you are going to substitute here. So next it will be four plus twenty four 
24VA1, 20VA2 minus 4, 6 minus VA2. 24VA1, 20VA2 minus 24 plus 4VA2. 4VA2 when you send it, so this will be VA2 will be 1 meter per second. or minus of minus and this will be plus check once i think some sir, will be 11, will be 11 by 6, by six sir. sir 11 by 6 sir yes sir 11 by 6 mm, yeah 11 by 6 Okay, now this is the final velocity of the trolley. Hmm? Final velocity of trolley. Ah, now what will happen to that dog now? Will land onto the trolley be? Together, what will happen? The trolley finally it will move with a velocity b b two. What we should do here? How to write the equation? This v a two it will continue eleven by six. In initial momentum equal to final momentum of the system. So initially, what is the momentum of system? The dog plus trolley both were moving, so this is 20 kg. So write it now 4 plus VD2. VD2 is what? Speed of the dog. 4 VD2 plus, okay, this is uh, anyway, like I am taking towards left negative, no? So let me continue with that convention plus 20 VB1 minus 20 VB1 minus of. 4 plus 20 VB2. We have to calculate VD2, well, speed of the dog. So VA2, we got it how much? <coughs> VA2, after getting 11 by 6, no, that I'll substitute, I'll get VD2. So VD2, I'll calculate from here. 6 minus uh, 11 by 6. 36 by 11. 36 minus 11. 25 by 6. That value will substitute. So minus 25 by 6, 20. Uh, VB1. VB1. Sir, 1. No, 1, no. VB1, 1. Sir, 1. Oh, 55 by 36 is what? So this is the final velocity of trolley B. Hmm. 